Hey everybody. So I'm going to do an app review for the Freedom Pop application just because it seems like there's probably just a bit of confusion with the blog that I posted earlier today. So I kind of just wanted to clarify that with everybody. Now, um, interesting comment that was made, which I did reply back on, but then I figured if I, got, if I got asked this question, there's probably some other people that will ask the same question too. And uh, this person commented and basically just stated a good point, which is, why go through all the hassle of paying for basically your Virgin Mobile service and then paying for Freedom Pop service when you could just easily go to Freedom Pop, buy a phone from them, activate it, and pay $20 a month for unlimited talk, text, and like one gig of data for 20 bucks. It does make sense. Now, there are people who are like pretty much content with the phone that they have. Whether it's the Desire 601, the LG Vault, or the Hydro Vibe, any of these newer phones that's coming out. And it's like, okay, do you really, you know, like if you really like your phone, do you really want to just put it in the drawer and to collect dust just so you can spend anywhere between $119 to $300 for another phone with Freedom Pop just to get the $20 a month unlimited plan? Of course, the answer is no. Some of you guys are who love your phone are going to want to stick with it. You're not going to jump ship. And so that's what Freedom Pop is doing. This is the idea that I'm showing you guys. Their idea of what they want to do. And besides providing you know mobile service to you and everything, they've also created an app that can basically run hand in hand with your basic, you know, your, your current mobile service provider without having to jump ship. And just by creating an app just like this gives you access to basically their service while you keep your service so this is just mainly for people who want to stay with their current phone and not have to buy a whole new one spend hundreds of hundreds of dollars on a new device just to get the twenty dollar plan where you could just easily download the app and pay a service fee of four dollars and ninety nine cents a month so yes if you're a Virgin Mobile customer, you're on the $35 plan, which gives you 300 minutes, you can't really talk too much. You could do unlimited texting, but you only got 300 minutes to basically run you 30 days. So, this is an alternative without having to go through most of the VOIP calling applications or subscribing to other stuff. This is pretty much legit. And it works great. I tested it out today. Uh, talked to a few people on the phone. And um, everything was pretty clear. You know, you didn't get that 10-second delay or that 5-second delay in the application. Um, your, your, your voices was, you know, your voice calls were on point. Text messaging was on point. And it's a nifty way. Now, if, you know, you being a Virgin Mobile customer, when you compare what you would have to pay for this app plus your, your basic $35 service plan, which gives you 300 minutes, and you move that side by side with Virgin Mobile's $55 plan that gives you unlimited everything, you're paying $10 less. So you're saving $10 a month than what you would pay for $55 because plus tax and everything, your price plan is like $60. So it's anywhere between $10 to $15 you guys save. And that's what the whole point of it is, is for saving. So basically, this is your basic layout of the application. You have your dialer. You have your contacts and you have text messaging all in one application. You hit to the side and um, it tells you your plan that you're on. So I'm on the unlimited plan. So it doesn't have to calculate minutes used because, you know, that I'm unlimited, which also you do have the option to change your plan. As you see right there, it says change my plan. And there is a plan with, Vir with not Virgin Mobile, but Freedom Pop, excuse me that doesn't cost you anything so say you're not a real big talker but you you could burn 300 in a month but you probably won't go over 500 minutes so if you subscribe to their totally free plan which gives you 200 I believe 200 talk minutes talk minutes sorry 500 text messages and 500 megabytes of data and you don't have to pay anything so now you got an additional 200 minutes on top of your three that gives you 500 minutes to talk a month or you can just go unlimited for five bucks which is fifteen dollars cheaper than their twenty dollar unlimited plan and you don't have to 
you know, look to see if your phone is a bring your own device type phone. Because there's only a list of certain phones that they accept now. And those who have like the Desire 601, the LG Vault, the Hydro Vibe, they're not on that list yet. And I love my Desire 601. This, this phone performs. It's freaking badass. So I don't feel like going and dropping another anywhere between $100 to $300 for another phone just to get the $20 unlimited plan when this actually works out. So pretty clear, cut, and dry. You have your settings. That's all your stuff to set up. You, know, you can uh, update your Freedom Pop settings, easy, conf you know, easy configuration, your network settings, user interface, call options. I mean, it's just pretty much uh, self-explanatory and real easy to navigate through. So, hopefully with this video that kind of answers a couple of questions and why would you go through all that, you know, when you could just simply just go with a phone from Freedom Pop. And that's the point, is if you like your phone, and you don't want to jump ship. So hopefully this clarifies any questions that um, my prior vlog video just really didn't answer, I guess. And yeah, it's like 2.10 in the morning, so I'm going to sign out. And you guys have a great Tuesday.